So this is just a short video to help you to see um, what you need to do for the um, investigating the distributive property using algebra tiles. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is, is get a, a package of algebra tiles. And I'll just briefly explain what the um, tiles stand for. So the large blue square is going to be the positive x squared tile. The large um, red square is going to be the negative x squared tile. The uh, rectangular green square is, or sorry, rectangular green rectangle is your x tile. Um, the rectangular red tile is your negative x tile. And then you have two little squares. One is kind of a flesh colored, and that's going to be your constant of 1. And then the little red will be your constant of negative 1. Um, and you're going to use these tiles to help you to investigate what the distributive property is and what um, it might mean for algebra questions. So this is an example of what you see in, in your worksheet. It asks you to model something. So we'll go through one together and then you can um, do it on your own with the examples that are provided in your binder. So you need to model 3 times x plus 2. So what you're going to do first is the 3, we're going to put along this left bar because we're, we're essentially setting up like a multiplication problem. So um, it's asking us to do 3 times x plus 2. And so we use just like a multiplication table structure. So we're going to put 3 unit tiles in. And then along the top, because we're multiplying the 3 by x plus 2, we're going to put one x tile in and two unit tiles. And now all we need to do is actually do our multiplication. So a unit tile times an x tile, that's just going to give us an x tile. And this is 1. 1 times 1, that's still going to equal 1. So this was like 1 times x, which is 1x, and then 1 times 1, still going to be 1. And we're just going to repeat that. 1 times x is going to be 1x. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times x is x. 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1. And on the sheet, in the end, you're asked to, to actually come up with what the product is. So all you really need to do here is collect like terms in the answer portion. So you end up with an x and an x and an x. So that's going to be three x's. And you're going to end up with one, two, three, four, five, six constants. So it'll just be three x plus six. And that's what your product is. And so that worksheet is going to have you investigate what do you think is happening here and what do you think the distributive property is.